Hey, Secrets readers, this is Carlo LaRosso, Editor-in-Chief of Secrets of Home Theater High Fidelity, and I'm here at Florida Audio Expo in the TAD room. And I'm here with TAD President Shinji Tarutani and President of and Founder of Pad Hi-Fi, Dave Malikpour, who is the U.S. distributor, exclusive U.S. distributor of TAD. And also here, helping us out, Tetsuya Sato, who is a professional mastering engineer and um, was also be helping us out with translating duties. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate the time, you guys. Glad to be here. Awesome, awesome. So we're here uh, talking about the uh, the new introduction of the TAD Compact Evolution One TX, and that's the uh, is it second generation? Correct. This is the second generation of the CE One, um, and uh, just launching here at the show for oh. the U.S. market. Oh, that's fantastic. If I could ask a few questions, that would be that would be great. Shinji. Um, if I could ask you, um, what were the main goals when TAD decided to update the original Compact Evolution One? あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Yeah, it's the beryllium. Mm -hmm. It's still the beryllium tweeter. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. But mid range has changed. No? <laughs> なるほど。So it's coated by a, a totally different um, oh, mid range. Right. Okay. Right. So, so the he's saying that the finish and the coating is different. Okay. So it's a different coating on the on the mid range on the diaphragm I guess on the uh Right. right. Um, the, and that, and that, but what, is it still magnesium? Is it, was that magnesium? magnesium? Magnesium was originally, right? But just different sort of coating and to, to, and has a different effect on the, on the, on the sound and performance then. Okay, excellent. And is the woofer still the same or? Uh, uh, Mm. Right. So the woofer is uh, uses the same material as the mm -hmm. woofer in reference one. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, the damper and and the coating again uh, mm -hmm. is uh, uh, they are different. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I believe it's a Kevlar type weave material, um, which is um, very light and very strong. Okay. Um, and so. Uh, so it's like it's like Kevlar that that's used for a bulletproof vest. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. It's very similar. Definitely. Yeah. So overall, with these these new improvements in the driver technology, what does it do in terms of uh, the improvement in the sound in the sound quality or change in sound quality? Is that? えっと、So since they started uh, a line called ME1, mm -hmm. um, they start to focus more on um, basically enhancing the the sound a little bit. Oh, the musicality yes, and the sound? Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Interesting. Very cool. The uh, the frequency response is also quite interesting because the high frequency goes out to 100K. And Seriously? I mean, if you can hear it out there, we, you know, that'd oh, be great. Okay. But, okay. but obviously, when you have a driver that can is stable out to those high frequencies, it means the area that we're really focused in on right. is extremely detailed and consistent and, yeah, low yeah. distortion all that good stuff yeah exactly and and then th this this speaker goes to 34 hertz um, so we the system goes th full range 34 to 100k mm -hmm. um, relatively flat but again with the idea of musicality um, in mind so Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Um, you know, obviously, you know the, the reference one really well, and in other products, and in, you know, I'm sure you know, but you notice the difference in sound quality on the C1. Anything you can comment on? Yeah, when when we first took them out of the box after breaking them in and started listening, mm -hmm. one thing I noticed right away was this incredible detail, mm. um, and. I think the first thing also is when you see this little speaker, you think, okay, it's going to be sound like a small speaker. But in fact, when you listen to it, it sounds like a much bigger sound stage. Yeah. Um, and I particularly found the imaging to be like, I want to say the word stunning, which is like, just because like, wow, this like incredible detail in, yeah. in the areas that often could become harsh. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes people comment about beryllium having a a brightness to it, and, right, and I right. didn't sense any of that. Um, I felt like it was very clear and extended. Um, and obviously, I, I can't hear 100K, but um, <laughs> okay, I but I, my, my ears are pretty good at the very top of our mm -hmm. normal hearing range. Um, and I, I was listening for particular tracks to see if they became harsh, so I put on things that I know have a little extra grit in the top extra end, and it still really held together, but it was revealing and truthful. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just an incredibly detailed speaker um, that I think people will really enjoy. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm fantasized about having a pair myself, so. 
uh, you wouldn't be the only one. <laughs> you know. Interesting. But I, I imagine that concentric driver has got a lot to do with that really, really good imaging. I mean, uh, I think that's... I think that's the key thing with all yeah. of the... Uh, really, all the TAD products use a CST mm -hmm. uh, type driver um, in, in most of the products have this uh, dual concentric configuration. And um, it's one of the things I think that stands out about mm -hmm. TAD um, is, is that imaging and, and, and the sound stage. You know, right. benefits from that as well because you're you're creating a kind of three dimensionality that the listener can be inside of. Mm -hmm. Very very cool. Yeah, that's it's very. I mean, I remember hearing these when I had a chance to review them, and the sound was just incredibly appealing. Um, so yeah, definitely looking forward to spending some more time in the demo, getting to. Uh, experience this a little and, more. And you did you review the CE1? I originally? reviewed the CE1, yeah, I think it was in 2015. Right. Well, it would be great to get your comments on, on just having that experience and hearing the difference. Um, absolutely, absolutely. And the speaker looks like it still uses the same sort of innovative side kind of porting structure, I think, from, from the original. Is that correct? So there, the patent is pending right now. Oh, really? But it, this is, you know, it, it, the air goes out through these slits in both directions. Right. Um, and then this is something that's unique to this product. And it, yeah, I remember first time seeing it. It's like it's not exactly a slot port, but it's it's. I don't know that I've seen anything vented quite like that before. It's very very interesting. The benefit of it, um, if I can jump in, is that so of course when you have a rear firing port, you're aiming to get some lift from your perimeter. Correct. Um, when you have a front port, you're usually trying to just time it with the woofer to give some support to the low frequency. In this case, by having dual. Um, slot ports or you know these these vents um, it helps with directionality mm -hmm. so it helps direct some of the low frequency to the listening position um, and what I found is that you just you feel like you're getting a much greater amount of low end than what you might expect from the small speaker mm -hmm. um, and it, 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 it also helps keep reflections off the wall and more towards right. the listening position again just enhancing uh, accuracy very very cool yeah it's very neat to see um, yeah, if, 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 I could, if I could ask next, um, Shinji, I mean, could you tell me a little bit about um, TAD's history uh, and, and, and what, it, what it means to you? I mean, being, being the CEO and being the top, the top guy? Yes. TAD is the uh, so the, the brand name TAD itself uh, started about 40 plus years ago, oh, okay. yes. Oh, okay. um, but it really, the, found, what it, the foundation of it goes back 80 years, you know, wow. since the first time Pioneer came out with, you know, the, basically the first speaker. で、我々が今TADでやってるっていう意味合い自体はですね、この80年の歴史の重みを出てる我々が背負ってですね、その何代も何代も引き継がれたその技術者のその悪なき音の追求を我々が今持って続けてるというまた将来にわたっても続けられ
Totally. Oh, no, no, no. So, you know, the, the, the basic idea, the motto of Pioneer was to provide, you know, the best sounding speakers possible to the listeners. And he's still staying true to that concept. Fantastic. Can um, I just throw one little yeah, comment absolutely, in? absolutely, please. So, as I've gotten to know Sinji san over the last uh, year and a half, two years, um, as we developed our plans, one thing that became interesting to me was that um, Sinji is a mechanical engineer who joined Pioneer about 35 years ago. Um, and, uh, you know, his, his career has included working on the, the design of some of the electronics uh, cases and the look and feeling and even today is still involved in the design process along with his team uh, but you know I think that when you have a company that's the CEO is engineering driven it says a lot about the company uh, oh, yeah. and so they're really dedicated to having this team approach um, and he's a great leader for that um, because he's in there checking tolerances and you know seeing the vision that he's got for the product look and feeling um, as a mechanical engineer is translated into that process with his whole team. So That's I find fantastic. that to, you know, as on when you're trying to bring a product to the market, when you see that it's engineered to, uh, in, you know, incredible detail, mm -hmm. um, it's very satisfying on my end um, to know that there's not, you know, we're not going to find a product where things are not lined up right or, right. you know, the, just, the, just the absolute... Uh, attention to detail, which is shown in this product or any of the electronics. So. Excellent, excellent. Um, you know, I, I, I was going to ask Dave if I might ask you, um, as being the U.S. distributor. I mean, what, what are your, what's your ultimate sort of vision for um, bringing the brand TAD back into the U.S. market and 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 seeing it develop further as we go as we go forward? Well, you know, Tad has been a legendary brand and a and a leader and engineered pr products that are just incredible sounding. So not just on the technology, but on how it actually sounds. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in a way we have, we're starting in a, in a way from a very basic level because there hasn't been, we're not taking over from another distributor that uh, had all these dealers and we're just gonna fit ourselves into it. We're, we're looking to really um, build a, a very select group of resellers that can have products for people to listen to. It's very important for people to hear it. Um, and so we're gonna be at all the shows as, as many as we can afford to get uh, nice rooms like this where we can really put our products out in a way that people can hear them um, properly. And then um, to, to, you know, uh, to take the Reference One and the CE One and some of our other products and bring them around to various locations around the country at, at dealers that wanna have um, you know, an event. And mm -hmm. so our starting point is really to get people listening again. Right and hear the sound of Tad, because when you hear something legendary, that doesn't mean you ever heard it. You just heard it was great. Um, mm -hmm. So we want to make it so that people can really hear it. See, and so we're planning a, a pretty nice tour for this year, upcoming uh, all around the country to get people listening and to be at the next few shows. And I think our other part of it is that we also see that um, we have clients that, like Tots, who are mastering engineers and uh, people doing very high-res recording, that we want to get the product also into those mastering environments where records can be created or, mm. or, or balanced on them. Um, and we think that that's a, an you know, interesting and unique place. Um, and then on the pro driver side, you know, um, Tad has had a long history of making pro drivers that have found their way into either OEM manufacturer relationships with other brands. Mm -hmm. um, and we've recently struck a deal to have one of uh, a company called OHA that makes some really cool um, esoteric horn-loaded um, hi-fi systems. They're going to be all powered by TAD. Um, we're going to bring that also into our Osberger um, studio monitors, which we've really 25 years ago, I, I reached out to, to TAD and bought some drivers for the, for the studio monitors that we make. And it's been a long, you know, long history together. So in, in a way, that's the thread that tied us together and it brought us here today even, um, is that history. So, um, and one of the exciting other things that we're bringing out is this new TAD ET703 Super Tweeter that was discontinued many years ago, and we've been able to get um, TAD in Japan to reissue it, and we have it here at the show, so people can take a look at it. It's a pretty unique piece. Oh, wow. Um, oh. I can just give you a quick little look, look at that. it, but okay. this device here um, is 
considered by many to be the very best super tweeter in the market, and we've been fortunate to be able to bring it back. It's now the ET703A, mm -hmm. and you're seeing it here first. Um, wow. And uh, we hope to be able to start delivering them in April. And this this device goes out to 40K, um, so you can add this to you know an existing system, or you can build a system around it using. So typically, people use it from about 5K mm -hmm. or 7K to that top end um, rather than having to EQ or, but this will bring in uh, an exceptional top end to any system. So we have some interesting plans that are multifaceted and, um, and we're really excited to be here at Flax. I, you know, this show um, is a warm and friendly place and everybody loves to come to Tampa in, in, mm -hmm. the, in the winter time. Where else would you want to be in the winter, right? <laughs> and there's, there's, I think, 78 exhibitors here. So, yeah. you know, it's a really strong show and we want to support the shows that, that are out there because I think this is the one chance for the community to get together um, to, to see the products and hear our product and also be able to hear other competitive products and, and understand why TAD is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're very excited to be partnered with TAD and, and, and cover the North American market. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I hope we'll just continue to see you at, um, at all these shows and, oh, yeah. and, and, and these guests that have been coming through have been you know, really, really excited to hear hear these systems. So, oh, outstanding, outstanding. Um, Shinji, Dave, and uh, Tats, thank you so much for your time, guys. We really do appreciate it, and um, all the best. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you, you bet. You.